there thank you for visiting my channel and I just wanted to do a homeschool tag that we I've seen when I started um, watching YouTube videos and I thought oh I always wanted to do it and it was on my to-do list and um, today I had some extra time and I thought that I would um, go ahead and do that if I look away from the camera it's because I'm looking at my computer for all the questions uh, there's about 12 questions um, and the first question is why are you homeschooling the reason we're homeschooling is really because um, we want our kids to be able to follow what they're good at um, do things that it will help them as an adult um, not so much just following the what the medium like the requirement is for um, for normal schools um, we want them to excel in things and help them with more materials things that interest them and also because uh, uh, we're scared of all the negative things we hear about bullying uh, we want them to give them the one-on-one -on -one interaction that they normally wouldn't get in a public school um, private school is not an option not for financial reasons but more because um, it's more like my husband he doesn't feel the dynamics of a public school is what is fit good fit for our family um, and my husband is the one since we had our first daughter that he's wanted to homeschool and I was kind of like oh I'm not sure if I'm ready for this I've um, you know worked throughout uh, the first year of my uh, oldest daughters um, of the first year and um, I wasn't sure if that's something I would be good at and I was scared because it's a big responsibility on you um, and I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it but um, we've talked about it we've seen it and as I was with my daughter more I realized that you know what I want to keep her home I want to teach her and um, we just thought that we would see how it goes and we didn't put her in preschool and we started doing more things getting out meeting other homeschool moms and we really thought this could really fit our family and um, so far it did and we're loving it second question is what do your children think of homeschooling my kids love it um, they do not want to go to school they love the flexibility they like the one-on-one -on -one interaction they like that sometimes we can finish our school early they have more time to play um, they like that we get to do fun field trips uh, when other kids are in school um, they like that we can play more um, they like that I can use some of the play in their learning so they just love it. They always say, oh, we don't want to go to school. We don't want to go to school. And that was actually one thing I was scared of, kind of, because I was like, oh, my God, what if my kids want to go to school? Then what do I do? Do I then I just send them? And but then so that was one thing that I was kind of scared of. What if they wanted to go? But fortunately, they don't. So <laughs> um, is your extended family supportive? Um, they are. Um, my parents are um, supportive. Uh, they haven't really said much about it. Um, they kind of let us decide. Um, my sister-in-law, my sister, they're very supportive. Um, my mother-in-law had a little bit of an issue, but um, I think uh, we've you know expressed and they've she's seen the success of what homeschooling and one-on-one -on -one teaching can done, and I think she's come around. Um, you know, from like far, far extended family, I've heard you know some comments where they will ask me when are your kids going to school when are they getting to school or when are they starting school and so um, other than that it's been you know I haven't really heard much about it so um, were you homeschooled I was not but I wish I was <laughs> but um, I was not homeschooled um, I went to public school and um, I didn't have the best experience but um, yeah I wasn't homeschooled best advice you've been given or have to give the best advice I was given was that take it easy um, don't stress yourself out let them learn at their own pace um, and that was the best thing because in the beginning I was kind of freaking out I'm like oh my god you know all these kids are learning how to read at like two or three years old and what do I do how, how do I start 
and that was like not a good thing to do and um uh so you know as uh, months and year passed by and i've learned that you know i need to take it easy they will learn at their own pace and that's the best advice i have to give is do not compare do not compare your kids to another kid or their sibling because that's that demoralizes the kid and it doesn't make them succeed and push themselves you know move push themselves further so do not compare because that's that's really hurtful and that's not fair every kid learns differently i have two da uh, two daughters and they both learn things differently their way of processing things and how they process is different so if them being sisters are so different you know you can't compare other kids um, because everyone has their strengths everyone has their weaknesses and that's the joy of homeschooling is that you can nurture that and kind of allow them to um, do things that they're meant to do and help them move further and that was the that's my best advice that I can give is to please do not um, compare your kids to your kids or others favorite thing about homeschooling the favorite thing for me is the joy I see when I see my kids just kind of like learn something new that they didn't know like when my oldest daughter learned how to read that was like oh my god like a big huge you know relief um, I was so happy I was so ecstatic because that was one of the things that I was really scared about is it's hard to teach someone to read once they know how to read everything gets easier um, and that was like a crucial thing and um, you know I'm so grateful um, that you know she's reading well above her um, grade level and um, sometimes I hold her back a little bit uh, because I don't want her to exceed too much in one direction and not in the other so um, but overall um, I love the joy of when they get something when they get a math problem or when they read something and just the excitement in their face that I don't get to miss I love it uh, least favorite thing about homeschooling the least favorite thing you know I love homeschooling um, it's a great fit for our family the least favorite thing I would say um, once in a while I will get a little jealous of um, you know the stay-at-home moms that have all the time to work out and do all the things um, without the kids and uh, once in a while I will miss it that's not very often but once in a while I'll be like hey you know but you know it's really my it comes back to me um, it's my ability to organize my time because I can fit everything in um, truly I can fit everything in if I want to it's more like an excuse for me oh hey you know I'm in these groups of ladies working out hey she can work out because you know her kids are in school but it's really an excuse but um, that's the only thing I guess um, you know it's, uh, it's you have your kids with you all the time um, I love it but once in a while I would be like oh it would be nice if my kids were in school and I had some time to myself <laughs> Um, the most annoying comment you've gotten the most annoying comments I get is one um, uh, they think that my kids are not social and that's by far the it can be farthest from the truth because they are very social um, and it's a misconception um, that uh, homeschool kids are not social they are social um, they get to meet with other kids, they're in co-op, they go to library events, um, they go to field trips, they get to go and talk and interact with older people. Um, there are often times when I take my kids to uh, my husband's dinner meetings once in a while um, and everyone is wowed by them because of their ability to interact with grown-ups, their ability to understand their eating habits and their etiquette those are things when your kids are with you you can have more influence I'm not saying that kids that are not homeschool are not like that I'm, I'm sure they're like that but it's just you have more influence on bettering your kids um, so when people say oh your kids are homeschooled they're not social that's 
uh, that's not true. The other thing is, is that um, some people ask, oh, did you go to school to be able to homeschool your kids? Um, you know, that's, I mean, I wouldn't go through, you know, get a teaching degree for this. Um, I, I know mo uh, most moms don't do that, <laughs> but people ask me, so I find that kind of odd. Um, um, I do have college degree and everything, and um, and I learn from other moms. I learn from YouTube. I learn from all the other moms on YouTube. I get ideas from Pinterest. I, you know, so there's so many ways you can teach your kids, um, and so many curriculums. So um, I find it odd that people ask me if I got a teaching degree to teach my kids at home. Uh, one thing that has not worked for you. Um, as of right now, I can't tell anything that has not worked for me. Um, if it doesn't work, if one thing doesn't work, I try something else. Um, my daughter was having issues with number bounding and I figured out, I looked at YouTube videos and I found another mom. She did something differently and I've tried that. I've tried through games. So if it doesn't work for me, I try something else, but I don't give up. And that's one thing that I keep telling my daughter, my oldest daughter, who is very into like, I have to win, I have to win. If I don't win, I don't want to try it. And the thing that I tell her is that it doesn't matter if you can get it or not, as long as you keep trying, because you lose if you don't try. But even if you don't get something at the right at the first time, but if you keep trying, then you'll eventually get it. And that's what I say, do not give up. I don't give up on them. I don't let them give up on themselves. And I don't you know, stress myself out if something's not working. I just try it differently. I just try a different way. I just try a different method until it clicks because eventually it will click. Um, what is your homeschool style? My homeschool style is I try a little bit of Montessori style, um, so I have like hands-on activities out for them. Um, I do follow curriculums. For math, I follow a curriculum. Uh, for um, everything else, I mix and match. Science, um, I it's kind of like child-led, so I give them an option and they pick what they want to learn, and I want to make sure that they, that's what they learn. Um, so we, I gear their learning towards whatever their interest is. Um, my oldest daughter is five. Um, she, I teach her at a first grade level. Um, she exceeds in some of the areas um, beyond first grade, but that's my goal is that for her to be at a first grade level and learn things that a first grader should know. Should know. Um, so um, I wouldn't say my, I, I don't unschool. I don't, you know, I don't have routine for like, um, like, you know, from this, this, you know, I don't give them time limit, like 15 minutes to do math. No, it's not like that. It should take as long as she needs. Um, I just kind of, but I follow their lead. I use a little bit of Montessori style and it's just a mix. It's just a mix of things that work for my kids. Does your spouse or partner help with homeschooling? He does, in a sense, he's the one that has um, brought me to this journey of homeschooling uh, because if it wasn't for him, I, it's probably not something I would have done. Um, growing up, I was a very good student and you know, growing up, I knew school was where I learned. Um, so homeschooling was really not something that I even thought that I would do. Um, it was him, he has a very different way of thinking. Um, he's you know he thinks outside of the box so um, that this is this was his idea I can't say it was my idea it was it it was his idea um, he works a lot um, and that's the reason that I get to stay home so which I appreciate so in a way he does help um, at this moment he's not able to help as much um, because he's so busy and he has a stressful job so um, he tries when he can he does the bedtime so he reads to them um, you know, he takes them out and teaches them, you know, ex outside different things. Um, he loves computers, so that's where, you know, he teaches them electronics, engineering. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, it's all me. Um, 
it, I am the one that teaches. Um, so that actually ends our um, questions. And I hope you enjoyed these, um, the answers. And I hope they help you if you're thinking about homeschooling or if you, um, you know, are homeschooling and you're struggling um, or if you're homeschooling and you're, you know, uh, you know, succeeding. Either way, I mean, there are days I'm succeeding, there are days I'm not. Um, and uh, there are days I feel like, I'm like, oh my God, I got it. I, you know, I got a handle on it. And there are days I'm like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? Um, so the struggles come and go. Um, but um, I hope some of these answers helped you. Um, and if you're thinking about homeschooling, please look into it. And if you are homeschooling, please don't give up just because you have a bad day or a bad week or a bad month. Keep moving, keep trying. And, um, you know, this is a wonderful journey if you can be, if your family lifestyle um, allows it. I mean, if kids go to school, that's fine as well. It's all up to the parents. They can decide what's best for their kids. That's what I say to everyone. Kid, parents have the authority to choose what is right for their family. No one can judge. No one should judge if a student goes to public school or private school or homeschools because it's a parent's choice. So I just wanted to, you know, just clarify that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.